Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where your iPad isn't responding to touch, here's how you fix it. So the first one that should fix it for most people, not everyone, is you just want to force restart your iPad. So how do you do this? If your iPad doesn't have a home button, you want to do this. You want to quickly tap volume up, then volume down, then hold the power button. Keep it held down, uh, held down until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, you can release. Now, if you have a physical home button device, uh, so you know you have the power button and you have the home button, you just want to hold down power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. And then once you see the Apple logo, you can release both buttons and you just need to wait for your iPad to enter back to the home screen. So uh, hopefully this will fix it for you. If it doesn't fix it for you, then we're gonna have to go over the next fix. If this fix doesn't work, the next one, you're gonna have to go through an interesting way, but the, uh, the final way will 100% solve the issue. So you can see for me, touch is working. For you, if it isn't working, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enter recovery mode and we're going to have to update to the latest software version on our iPad. For some reason, uh, on older software versions, sometimes the display will glitch out. For example, on my iPhone 5S, uh, it was running iOS 7, and when I did a battery replacement, the screen wasn't responding to touch. However, after updating it to latest iOS, that solved the issue. Of course, if it's going to solve it on an iPhone, it's going to solve it on an iPad as well. So it's always best to try. First step is you want to plug in your device to the computer. Otherwise, entering recovery mode will not work. Next, once you have the device plugged in, in order to enter recovery mode, because I don't have my device plugged in, this will not work for me, but it will work for you. What you want to do is you want to, if you have a non-home button device, tap volume up, then tap volume down and hold the power button. Now keep it held down until you see a screen where you see a cable and then you see a monitor. That means you've entered recovery mode successfully. So when you see the Apple logo, just keep holding down the power, keep it held down until you see that TV screen. Now. When it comes to the devices which have a physical home button, you want to hold down both power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. When you see the Apple logo, you want to release the power button, but keep on holding the uh, home button until you see that screen. Once you're in that screen on your computer, it will ask you to update the latest uh, iOS. You can do that and then you should be uh, good to go. Uh, uh, same story when it comes to, you know, the home button device. Now, once you've updated, hopefully that will solve the issue. If it doesn't, then you'll have to do the process again. Well, instead, there should be a restore option. Click on the restore. You will lose all your data. Just keep that in mind. You may want to back it up before you do that. And then it will factory reset your iPad. Hopefully that solves the issue. If you go through all those methods and that does not solve the issue, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to bring in your iPad for repair. So you wanna download the Apple support app. Now you may be like, hold up for a second. Well, my, my iPad doesn't respond to touch. Well, you can contact Apple through their website as well. However, if you have a spare, you know, iPhone, something like that, or just go to the app store. I'm in school, so I don't have access to Wi-Fi. You just want to download the Apple support app, select your device, Talk with Apple, tell them the display isn't working. Uh, if there is a repair program, they'll give you a completely free repair. If it's under warranty, uh, you know, a year warranty, they'll give you a completely free repair. Same with Apple Care. However, if you're outside the warranty, Apple may charge you money, so just keep that in mind. But don't get scammed by Apple, because if you, you know, genuinely the display stopped working, you didn't do anything intentionally, there is consumer law. So what I recommend you do, it's on your device to search up consumer law Apple. If your iPad is protected under consumer law, when Apple asks you uh, to pay money, just say, I would like to invoke my con uh, uh, my consumer law rights. And what they will do is they'll you know do your repair for free. So make sure you're covered under consumer law because not every country has it. And if you're, you're good to go, you get a free repair and your iPad screen will be fixed. Otherwise, well, you're not so lucky. So really that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.